Hello everyone, my name is Gabby and I just graduated Cal State Fullerton with a bachelor's in public health and I'm going to talk about a club that I'm a part of called Flying Samaritans. So Flying Samaritans is a non-profit organization in which we go to El Hongo, Mexico every third Saturday of the month to provide free healthcare to the people of El Hongo, Mexico. If students would like to get involved, you can visit our website at flyingsamaritanselhongo.org and it is open to all students of all majors and you do not have to be pursuing a career in medicine. We just want members to just be dedicated to the club and just be interested or willing to help the people of El Hongo, Mexico. So if you would like to be part of the club, you do have to pay an annual fee of $40 and $40 for every clinic that you attend. So because this is a nonprofit organization, we do rely heavily on volunteer work and on donations to help sustain the club and the clinic. And so all the money that you we get from your fees is used for medications and medical supplies and anything else that we, we might need for clinics. But in order to go to clinic, you do need to be selected. So in the beginning of the month, we send out an email with the application for the month if you're interested in attending clinic. And in this application, you'll be asked, you know, what will you do to help serve the people of El Hongo if you are selected? Um, if you have gone to clinic before where you were in the past? And also if you can translate and if you can be able to drive. And so all these factors play a role in getting selected because we want you to be actively involved when you do go to clinic and we do need translators to help translate for the doctors and for the health professionals that go and also be able to drive. We do caravan, do caravan so that gives you a higher chance of being selected to go. And if you are selected to drive, you do get reimbursed $30 for, the, for your gas. So now I'm going to talk about what happens in a typical day in clinic. So we meet at Cal State Fullerton at 5 a.m. And then we load the cars with, of the drivers who volunteered with donations. And then after that, we leave and meet at San Diego again because we do partner with UCR. So we meet them there and we also meet the providers at San Diego. And then after that, we head to the clinic in El Pongo in a caravan and then clinic starts around 10 and then from there we check in the patients and they usually get triaged so they get their vitals taken and if they're diabetic they also get the blood glucose um, checked as well so after they're triaged then they, they then go to see the doctor and sometimes a dentist if she is there our dentist is dr lee and then after that they go get their donation so we help to give the people clothes and food and any other donations we see that the people of El Hongo need, sometimes we give them care packages. And after that, they have they get their medication and that's it. But it, the time really depends on how many doctors we have and how many patients we have. So the earliest we leave is around two or three, but the latest that we leave clinic could be five to seven. And we also, give a um, health care to an orf local orphanage so around noon we head to the orphanage and we do activities with the kids there and we also give them health care if they if any of the children are sick many people are interested in going to the orphanage because the kids are just super cute and adorable and um, but we are selective with who goes because we want someone who is consistent in going to clinic to be able to go to orphanage because we want that consistency in the lives of the children at the orphanage. And so like I said earlier, the time that we leave clinic is really dependent on how many physicians or health care providers and patients we have. So we can end up at back at Cal State Fullerton between 8 p.m. to midnight. And so that is a typical clinic. It is a long day and um, you can also input these as volunteer hours through Titan Link. So it's around 16 hours as what we give if you want to put this down as volunteer work in your resume. Or if they ask you 
and graduate school how many hours you put into going to this club. So I have been part of Flying Samaritans for almost four years and so I have been in the club for a long time and I started, out, started off as a member and then after that I got onto board. So I was a member for one year and a board member for three years. So I've previously been the public health coordinator and then after that I was the orphanage coordinator and I'm currently the vice president for the club. So there are also opportunities to be part of the board and get more and be more involved in the club if you would like to get that experience and honestly i really love going to El Hongo and being part of this club because i feel like you get a, a lot of hands-on experience not which is not typical if you volunteer at a hospital in the states so if you are in, interested in medicine and you are in triage you can be able to take vitals of the patients because there is a nurse or some health professional there looking over and um, correcting you if needed. So you do get that hands-on experience. And if you're in a doctor's room, the doctors help to explain what is going on, why they're prescribing certain medication or diagnosing a patient with a disease. And all the providers and healthcare professionals there are just really willing to help students because they understand the struggles that the, these students go through and trying to go into a health profession school. So I really do encourage you to be part of Flying Samaritans and if you have any questions, please, please visit our website and or you can also email our president at flyingsams.hongo.president at gmail.com. And I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I thank you for watching this video and learning more about Flying Samaritans. And I really hope you all have a wonderful day.